teams just being solid. Every it seems like they're all building off each other, just pushing each other to be better. Um, another good outing by Carson's, I guess, just overall thoughts on him and just the staff in general. Well, Jeff pitched very, very good tonight. Um, you know, in the first in the first inning, they scratched a run off of him, and uh, after that, uh, he made pitches. He kept the ball out of the middle of the plate. Uh, he changed speeds, controlled bat speed, um, and he got us he got us deep in the game, deep enough where we could continue to make moves and, and match up and go forward from there. But I was very pleased with his effort coming off of that into the head in San Diego. He had much better command of all his pitches. He threw some good change-ups, fastball command, glove side, arm side was there as well, and the breaking balls. So it was a good outing for him. And as you said, they're finding ways to continue just to hand the baton to the next guy, get us deep in the game. Maybe one of those adage questions, but uh, when the baseball gods kind of smile on me and take advantage of it, did you see I think that ball may have hit the ground and then you get new life? Yeah, I haven't seen a replay. Um, I thought a ball was caught, you know, and you just play the game and you get breaks and you don't get breaks. You just got to play through them the best you can. And uh, you know, Jose thought he caught the ball. I'm sure you know, we'll find out from somebody whether he did or not somewhere down the line. And when you can finish off the inning there and then come up and put some runs on the board, it's always significant. But you play this game and calls are made and right now, you know, if you're keeping tallies, I, I think we've probably got a few more that can come our way and nobody in our clubhouse will complain about it. How key is it though, it's just like missing first base, if you don't catch it, you come up and act like you caught it? It's part of the game. I mean, it's it's part of the game. He thought he caught it, so, you know, I don't know. I mean, Kutch, you Kutch caught a ball yesterday and showed it, you know, we didn't get a, we didn't get a call. Um, but that's part of it. I think players practice that enough. That, you know, if they think it's close, it's a hard call. How impressive was Alvarez in the field, given the fact that he was off a few days, plus he had that injury? Well, the, fa the fact that he had the injury, and I know there's some question as to his health. I think the questions to his health can probably be put aside right now. You saw the lateral range, both to his left and to his right. Three major league plays tonight at third base, the seventh inning, and back-to-back -back plays in the ninth inning as good as you'll want to see, with strong throws on all three of them. So obviously he's healthy. And, uh, again, we needed all the outs that we had out there tonight. Our guys made some good defensive plays to back a very strong pitching effort. Clint, what about the uh, the call you did get in the first inning on Garrett Jones' double, that uh, the, the umpires rule a double instead of a home run? Well, it obviously had to be a double. They went and looked at the replay, so they get a look. You can't argue after that. They went in and they did the best they could. They weren't sure. They actually told me they thought the fan reached over and I said, well, it's a hard call. Can you, you know, pony up and go take a look at it? They did. And uh, you know, that, that is one of the benefits of replay, you know, in the fashion that we use it right now. They got, they got the call right. Well, how big of was that to, turn, to get that double play in the eighth? I mean, that's a potentially a pretty sticky situation if you have first and third and one one game in the eighth. How big a lift do you think that was for your guys to then come back in and it's a game of adrenaline. It's a game of momentum. All sports can, you know, you hear the announcers talk about momentum changing uniforms all the time, and obviously that was a momentum shift I felt for us, and I think it picked our guys up a little bit. But at the end of the day, you still got to make the last, the third out. Then you got to come in, you got to swing the bat, and Jones get a walk. And, you know, a runner gets in motion and walk barrels a ball down the line and they can't get to it, and then we add on from there with Overbay and Doma. Sometimes that adrenaline's contagious as well. Could Mattingly and Aribe have disrupted Billingsley as much as anything else? You know, I don't know. <laughs> you guys are way smarter figuring that stuff out than me. There, there's shifts in tempos. I mean, there is. And, you know, I, I'm probably thinking back to some days I've probably gone out there and argued longer than I want to just to maybe try and you know, rearrange the furniture in somebody's house. It happens. I know other managers I've seen do it. So, you know, I, I know that wasn't their intent. I don't, I'm sure Chad would tell you it didn't happen, I, but I don't know. It's, it's a funny game. And when there are delays, you never know. There's always going to be those questions asked. After a pause, button's hit, and things shift a different direction. I know you don't like to talk about attendance, but the fact that there was only 12,000 or so here under you know, real good weather conditions, which is rare so far, is that an indication it's going to take more than just a 500 record and a few wins or even a few good weeks to get these people excited again? You answered your, your own question. I don't like to talk about attendance. We need to continue to play good baseball and win baseball.